Those looking for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on a budget need to seriously consider the Kenwood DDX 5707S. This double-din head unit boasts both for under $400. Plus, Kenwood added a built-in mirroring feature for Android smartphones. Stay tuned for my cons at the end of the video in power testing. Inside the box is a wiring harness for power and ground and one for speakers. external microphone for hands-free calling, hardware, radio removal tools, a radio housing, radio trim panel, this plastic thing, parking brake extension, warranty card, instruction manual, and double-din stereo. Rear connections on this head unit include wiring harness for power ground and speaker. Two sets of two volt RCA preamp outputs for front and rear. Camera input, video output, external microphone, 3.5 millimeter AV input, radio antenna, and pigtails for USB, Sirius XM, and subwoofer RCA preamp output. The 6.8 inch display on the DDX 5707S is not HD, which is a huge bummer, but it is a capacitive touchscreen, meaning it's responsive like a smartphone. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are two of the hottest features for car stereos, and I'm sure we all know what they do. We've been over them a hundred times. Video apps do not transfer. The DDX 5707 does not have wireless Android Auto or wireless Apple CarPlay, major con you must use the USB cable connection to access both at all times. Both charge your device at the same time during use. Again, neither will work wirelessly. Both will display album artwork onto your home screen when in use. Kenwood added the new feature of Android screen mirroring. This is not compatible with iPhone. In order to perform this, you must download the Kenwood OA mirroring app from the Google Play Store. The app does not open when you click on it because it's not designed to. You must go into the stereo settings, device, and change the mode from Android Auto to mirroring for Android. Last year, Kenwood changed their video inputs on their DDX line to a single 3.5 millimeter AV jack input. Using this input with the Kenwood CAC3 AV, you'll be able to mirror any device to your head unit with our iPhone and Android mirroring kits. I'll put links for them all in the bio below. The built-in Bluetooth allows hands-free calling, voice recognition, and wireless music playback. The radio tuner features 18 FM and 12 AM station presets. The DDX 5707S is Sirius XM ready with the SXV 300V1 Universal Tuner and steering wheel control ready with the Axis ASWC1 interface. Links in the bio for both. When connected with a USB thumb drive, the stereo is compatible with playback of MP3, WMA, AAC, WAV, and FLAC audio files. And for video is compatible with playback of MPEG-1, MPEG-2, MPEG-4, H.264 files, as well as JPEG images. Customize your DDX 5707S with several preset wallpapers or upload your own with a USB thumb drive. And make screen adjustments. Adjust the parking grid guidelines. Kenwood puts you in full control of the audio settings.
All right, let's test this out for ourselves and see what it can actually do. The first test we ran was two channels driven at four ohms, 14.4 volts, one kilohertz EQ flat. Our audio precision will generate our signal and measure distortion. At volume 35, our HP 8903B audio analyzer picked up 19.05 watts RMS, 1.04% distortion, and 8.67 volts of outputs. We can switch between channels. Our AMM1 read 13 watts, 8.68 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 4.47 amps of current. Down to 40 hertz. At volume 35, our HP picked up 18.62 watts RMS, 1.03% distortion, and 8.96 volts of output. Channel swap. Our AMM1 read 16 watts RMS, 8.59 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 4.58 amps of current. Next, we tested the RCA preamp outputs, which Kenwood rates at 2 volts. At 1 kHz, max volume 40, we got 2.62 volts of output, with 0.1% distortion. At 40 Hz, max volume 40, we got 2.6 volts, with 0.12% distortion. Our final test was frequency response. We used our audio precision to ramp each frequency. The biggest con to this head unit is its RCA preamp outputs. Kenwood only rates them two volts, and we picked up 2.6 volts max volume with a 1.5 volt input. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links for everything in the bio below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.